I know I've had a lot to post here recently, but this story I absolutely could not pass up. I wanted you guys to hear this. The details are very heartbreaking. I don't actually have the identity of the child or picture to pay tribute and homage. If you guys live in this area, feel free to email it to me to afcmatters at gmail.com. And if you are familiar with this story, but I'm going to give you guys some details that are going to be a little bit difficult to hear, but this story is relatively short, but I absolutely had to make, make sure y'all heard about this. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. So Anderson, Indiana presents a terrible story. So check this out. An Anderson couple has been arrested and charged with felony child neglect after, and y'all can just look at the tattoos on the face. I know not everybody has face tattoos is a bad person, but guess what? The majority of people that I post on my channel that have facial tattoos are the worst kind of people on earth. Want to throw that out there, okay? Now, let's go back to this. A couple has been arrested and charged with felony child neglect after their 10-month-old daughter was hospitalized 10 months old with a broken spine, heavy bruising, and several other injuries nicholas o arnett 27 years old let me get his dumb face back on the screen right there on the left and shelby langford 22 years old on the right hand side of the screen both of them were arrested last month by the anderson police department both arnett and langford now face one charge of neglect of a dependent causing serious bodily injury a level one felony Court documents show that in December last year, Arnett and Langford took their 10-month-old daughter Riley to, or excuse me, to Riley Children's Hospital after they said she had trouble eating, sitting up, and breathing at 10 months old. Once admitted, Riley staff noticed that the baby girl had significant bruising on her ears, shoulders, thighs, stomach, face, hips, legs, chin, forehead, and armpits. All of those things are indicative of child abuse, just so y'all know. All the bruises police said were in different stages, stages of healing. When detectives began interviewing Arnett about his daughter's injuries, the father said he suspected the child had anemia. What is anemia? Let's look that up because I don't know what the hell that is. But I know it's an excuse. That ain't what happened to this little girl. Anemia is a condition in which the body does not have enough healthy red blood cells. Red blood cells provide oxygen to the body tissues. Different types of anemia include anemia to vitamin B12 deficiency, anemia due to folate, folic acid deficiency. Basically trying to say she bruises easily, which is bull crap. That's not what happened here. Furthermore, Arnett allegedly attempted to blame the bruising on their three-year-old child. So they had multiple children who said, who he said sometimes plays rough with his young sister. Isn't that something? Tried to blame it on the other kids, blaming it on themselves. They beat themselves to death. When speaking with Langford, the mother reportedly explained that they had already had a previous child die around two years ago from unknown causes. Huge red flag. Bookmark that. She said that since 2021 incident, since that 2021 incident, she had treated her other children like a porcelain doll so as to not lose another kid, which I don't believe that. Further investigation into, so that sounds, so that actually sounds like she's, let me go back and mentally go back on that. That sounds like she's admitting to being too rough with the children 
And that's what caused the death. Yeah, that's weird. Very weird. Further investigation to the child's injury showed that bruising was not all that she was suffering from. According to Riley Hospital staff, the following conditions were observed in the baby. So check it out. Significant bruising. Three spinal fractures. Severe changes to brain structure and function. Mild compression fractures of the T5 and T11 vertebrate. And, oh my God. Injuries to the cervical spine. Healing fractures on two separate ribs. Possible sternal fractures. Possible left distal tibial classic metaphysial lesions and fractures. I'm surprised I was even able to read that. That's a big word. Healing fractures in the foot. Bilateral subdural collections. Chest boils. Several internal hemorrhages, extremely low body temperature, low pH levels, and extremely high sugar levels. But the children did all that to themselves? Seriously doubt it. According to Riley's doctors, these injuries cause catastrophic damage to the baby's brain activity. By the time the child had been admitted to the hospital, she had no gag reflex and was unable to cough. While Langford and Arnett continued to provide conflicting stories about how the child may have gotten injured, stories have included abuse by an uninvolved family member and roughhousing with other siblings, trying to blame it on everybody else. But again, when I tell y'all with these stories, I always like to blame the person who had custody of the children. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The professionals at Riley concluded that pre-existing conditions did not cause the injuries and that the injuries were not accidental. Furthermore, police spoke with several Riley staff staffers caring for the baby who said Langford and Arnett rarely visited their daughter in the hospital. Finally, which showed they wouldn't care. Finally, officials from both Riley Hospital and the Department of Child Services told police that the parents' stories weren't jiving and that they suspected neglect. While detectives were unable to concretely say what exactly caused the child's injuries, Riley's doctors provided some possible theories that included medical neglect, forcible bending of the spine, and significant non-accidental trauma to the head. I think that they just beat this child to death, honestly. And probably sat on her. That's what that kind of sounds like to me. It sounds like they sat on the child. Eventually, Anderson police detectives concluded that significant medical neglect caused severe bodily harm, causing the baby's injuries. APD officers subsequently arrested both Langford and Arnett. The couple have since been booked into the Madison County Jail. Both are facing one charge of felony, one child neglect. Online court records have not yet been updated to reflect an initial hearing date in their cases. So basically, they don't have enough evidence to charge them with manslaughter or murder or anything like that. And the fact that they already had another dead child and they were kind of insinuated, if you read that article again, that they said, we're going to treat these children like porcelain dolls. So when you say words like this, one would have to assume that you did not treat the other children like porcelain dolls. Why would you not treat any children like porcelain dolls? Which means that you were too rough, too mean, and probably caused the death of that other child too. So they have now responsible for two dead children. They have two dead children on their watch, and I don't think that's a coincidence. And I think they need a life sentence, but they're probably not going to get it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Way too many red flags in this, even by account of their own words. But let me know what y'all think, okay? Thank you.